Hello anyone who will be watching now later on YouTube, Healing here along with Dracodil And welcome to Something Sunday and the first game we'll be taking a look at is, well, Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mistara, which is a, uh, a re-release of two older games uh, <clears throat> Dungeons and Dragons Tower of Doom, like it says right there, and well, my Face is partially covering it, but also Dungeons and Dragons Shadow of Mistara. Two old school 3D, no, not 3D, 2D brawlers. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Okay, then we have a level select here. And yeah, this is from that classic era of 2D brawlers. Let's see. Let's just jump straight into arcade mode. And. Weakling, Apprentice, Knight, and Master. Uh, let's try at least that. And yeah, <laughs> it wouldn't be Dungeons and Dragons if it didn't have classes. So we have the Fighter, Strength and Endurance, Cleric, War and we'll Healing. To a races, it is, I feel like it's a bit awkward. <laughs> the Dwarf and the Elf. I'm guessing you want me to go as the Dwarf? The Elf and Dwarf sounds actually fun. Imagine you some warrior or power or resistance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we leave in the morning, well done. Wait. Okay, that was a bit quick. Let's see. Um, oh, it's on doing it in there, but might as well. <laughs> or is Okay. Oh, definitely. Mm. Let's see. Can I try out Hillian in the time that we have left? Yes. But you timed. What? Yep. And your screams up ahead. All right. It looks quite good. Yeah. It's a bit pixelated on my end now and then, but the moment of clarity is very good. I think it's pixelated for everyone. I was, I lost half of my health to a single freaking kobold. Oh. Goblin. Thank you, game, for pointing it out. Yeah. that. I'm not aware of any special moves or something in, with these characters, and this is basically the first time that I've played this, because, well, yeah, actually, you, you could tell that from uh, <clears throat> from the fact that I have... Uh, don't grab the stuff. <laughs> uh, I had a, an account level of zero. Give me that. Guard. Okay, it's going through this. It's, okay, this is on autoplay. Some are heading for the mountains, others are gathering for an attack on the town. What should we do? Uh, better to head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get split time. Yeah, you. Yeah, you get split paths here. So we all end up in the same place. Can he just moon you? Pretty much. Okay, a hammer. I think some of these items we're supposed to be able to throw or so. Oh. A knoll with axe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Wrong button there. Grab some shinies. Let's see, what do we have? Okay, hammer, dagger, oil. I'm guess. Oh. Uh, hello there. Uh, 
And... <laughs> How do I... There we go. Space for some reason. That's jump. Oh, oh. oh, if you're coming up, then in space will make bad sense. Then. Space, yeah, is, space is pause, and space is basically the start button. Okay, that makes things also for... In the past, space was either, either jump or pause. Depending on the game. Yeah, I typically was, these days it is uh, jump above anything yeah, else. Really jump, yes. I think it was mostly in strategy game where the space was the, the port, but yeah. Over the years space became more dominant as a jump button. Put quite a bit of in there. We missed a, a chest earlier, but okay. <laughs> Me. One captain you get down. Uh -oh. What? Uh, oh. Okay, I walked right into that one. A ogre leader. Let's deal with the small fries. Yeah, they are kobolds. I'm just going to chuck rocks at me. This guy's a bit too big to knock around. Not the hit the cobalt are screaming a lot. Yeah, those are the hostages. <laughs> and those two. Doesn't mean that the cobalt have a unique scream. Oh! Okay, I seems I accidentally uh, shot it against the wall of the screen. Nope, not. Thank you for rescuing our town and saving us all. But now you're not fast forwarding. Small token of gratitude, said to have medical power. Okay, nice. So basically, we get more damage now. Yeah. And of course, also again, wouldn't be Dungeons Dragons without leveling up. Uh, let's see. How much silver do we have? And where is that supposed to say? I see DL7119. What does that mean? 19. Hmm. Oh, SPC repeaters. Oh, I thought. You. Okay, yeah, that is. Okay, the, the alt green number is the amount that we have. And that cost us everything we had, basically. Creature that is attacking for its truth is set to control illusions. Take the main road, you better be... You better be quick at reading. If there's the update in this game, I hope that we'll fix that. Or if there's is a way for you to adjust the text speed. Oh, owl bears. Like a um, eagle bear. Little <laughs> <laughs> dive again, bombing uh, bastard. Again, I would have used it to look very weird. Like they almost look like beaked the uh, ground plots in the past. So this one at least towards an improvement. And uh, yeah, they're, they're basically all bears for every kind of bird that you can find. Yeah, I think. now that they're, they're sticking with the bear body with an owl head and uh, owl claw paws. But uh, yeah, in the extremely old edition, like older than this game, probably. They look like, yeah, giant brown sloths with a weird beak, something. Or it's, it just looked grotesque and weird. Like, you looked at them and wondered. Which part of it is an owl? You're wrong, you're a bastard. We're a patrol from Fort Crud. We were hunting the beast when we were attacked by it. Now it might be attacking the fort itself. Um... 
go to the city or go to the forts? Let's go to the fort. Uh, it's just it's just so much of a habit that you uh, go for the for the space bar for pause or something. <laughs> Let's uh, set some traps. I have to say, that's a bit of big wolf. Right, give me that. Okay, a bit oddly diff differently colored this time. Uh, let's see if I can get the name. No, no with axe. Yeah. Okay. Give me that. That's an interesting thing. Just no with axe. Um, yeah, I can see that. Bastards again. Oh, oh well. Okay, surprise ceiling skeleton. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's probably the typical uh, Dungeon Dragon skeleton way. They're bone and all, but they always love to surprise you in one way or another. Oh, wait. Something in the corner popped up there. Was that the amount of continues that we still have or something? On shore. And these bastards have sh shields to block us with. You also have a shield, so can you also block? I don't think so. There's, you can only move around and use WASD for commands. Okay, I, that I find annoying. Enemies can block, but you can't. Even when you have a shield, that that. that like you, you that. Yeah, that that was one of the items, the ma a magic ring. Okay, I was wondering what the heck of him was doing there. What for more did his hand turn into a cannon? Uh, okay, that was a bigger one. Okay, that's a pretty tough one. Uh, two creatures cast but one shadow. Aim for the shadow that is where the creature truly is, because it's a displacer beast. Uh, yeah, the thing about displacer beasts is that they displace their image. Uh, well, they displace us <laughs> from the land of the living. But uh, yeah, the real one is the one that's casting his shadow. In in actual Dungeons and Dragons, you wouldn't you wouldn't see two of the beasts. You'd just see one, and it's uh, the real beast is invisible, technically, somewhere nearby, like uh, right next to it or something. I I don't know how far away they can do, how far away they can cast their appearance okay uh, i have some dogs and dragon lore sometimes a lot but not all of it see so occasionally try to find someone new to listen to or someone has been not doing kind of collection of late it, it it could really get well snappy with those tentacles of his uh, no, it, it the, the coins in the corner aren't the amount of continues that we have, it's the amount of continues that we've used. Okay, what the? What the heck is that? I think he's calling to the, whenever he's doing that, that he's calling to his dwarven god or something. An arc god or something. <laughs> And apparently he likes the taste of dwarf. Yeah. Come on. 
It's still long enough for me to burn you. Yeah, that, that the reach of that is really strong against us, but we got it. There we go. Well Pick it up. Again, I, am I going to make that mistake every single level of this? I would be surprised if that's a habit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stranger comes up to talk to you. Lord Corbin Linton Maston of the city of Athenos wishes to speak with you. He would have you come to the city of Athenos to meet with him. And another level up. And <laughs> four, no, no, that's four or five more health yeah. points. Actually, do we have... Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing this is just healing from where we ha have it now. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's really pricey. Yeah. No, it's useful, but you need a bit pricey. Let's stock up on daggers, because it's always nice to have some of those to throw around. Tell me, tell me more, as he says, and we just bail out. <laughs> mm, I, sh I should disable that. Oh, uh, hello. Troglodyte. <laughs> uh, oh, nope. Those are basically our oil flasks, but on delay. What the heck are you doing on a boat here? It should be in case. Oh, that's a bag. Or, can, oh, I, I thought that was going to explode on us. Uh, okay, you just spin that spear right round, right round. <laughs> I thought I killed that one. Apparently not. I'll take that, and you can take... You can dodge that. <laughs> That's 25 silver <laughs> pieces right out the window. Practically, literally. They are very acrobatic. Yeah, I think these are supposed to be... Actually, are... Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> ah. I think these are supposed to be aquatic or something. Uh, yeah, hello. Oh, hell. Boots of speed? Mm -hmm. I have no idea why we picked that up and threw it. Okay, but we are... <laughs> Some more gems. We are speedier now, so that is useful because... Oh. Yeah, dodging is difficult. What the heck is that? I think it's a ghoul. We can get its name... Yeah, it's a ghoul. Yep. Nasty yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too used to uh, <clears throat> to playing 2D brawlers like this. So yeah, it's obviously I'm going to suck. But I'm guessing one of the main things with this will be uh, dodging vertically instead. <laughs> Okay, or his dwarven sense was his dwarven spider sense tingling or something. Dwarf sense tingle. Shop head off. Either of ten child or that we collapse. 
Uh, yeah, if, if we're just going to head, walk straight up to an enemy, they're, well, they're going to get us with their freaking spears and such. So we have to dodge up and down to get close without, well, getting stabbed. <laughs> Is there no control menu where you can read up what the controls are? Hmm? Yeah, you were saying? I said, ain't there any control menu? Like, you know, you can check up what the controls are? Yeah, I did. There's only, it only tells you four controls. Like, yeah, inventory, attack, at, uh, jump, and uh, use. And you can't change them, but it... Not the spacebar and such, apparently. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a block and such? Or is that something when enemies can do it and not you? Like, why do you even have a shield then? The heck is... Is, is this a hack? A, a troll, okay. Don't mind me just looting in the middle of combat. And <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. Oh, wait. Trolls regenerate. Your boots of speed have been damaged. Okay. And yeah, now we're slow again. Okay, so you lose those things when you die. Come on, burn. Doing fire and poison. And I think it's acid, actually. Because most of those stop there yeah. from regenerating. Yeah, fire acid. In all games, they just take poison, but in Dungeon Dragon, they use different acid. I almost forgot that. Ah, uh, there we go with its healing effect. <laughs> it's just dancing around. Okay, that's what that's why you had those enemies drop all of their uh, oil flasks. Come on. Hey. Okay. Basically telling you have to, if you don't kill, <clears throat> I think it differs per version of Dungeons & Dragons, but basically, in most cases, if you don't use fire damage, it'll, or acid, it'll start regenerating. Wait for you. Since last Starman, it's a great dragon from the swamp. Those are nice night armor. Uh, and, and this is apparently one of those uh, but thou must cases because we have to go fight this dragon off, no matter what. Oh dear. That's it, that's it. Yeah. I have drawn armor like that in the background before. Ah. Okay, oh, we got a lot of. Uh, <clears throat> you got a lot of silver from that. Um, yeah, the price of these things is constantly going up, apparently. Yep, and it seems like this is before the age before SP bar was standardized as a skill point. Oh, yeah, that's very flickery fog. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get out of it. Why were, why were troglodytes and ghouls working together on something actually? I'm pretty sure ghouls are unintelligent undead and their touch paralyzes, so that's why their stun is a thing. Well, as far as I know, they are at least intelligent enough to have a, a king and maybe use some green clothing and tool, but yeah, not the brightest. I guess you could say that they are undead with some dreamman-like intellect. 
probably a bit dumber, but at least smart enough to use uh, some tools. If they can get a hand on it. Can we do something about... Uh, scan lines? Okay, that basically makes it look like you're playing on an old... Con con yeah, an old TV. Uh, is that going to help with the flickering? It's no, going to make not. you unable to see some menu options. It, no, hey, it will make it look worse. Yeah, that... That... Stretch, no look, right? <laughs> okay. You can look at it as if you were in a... One of those old cabinets. Okay! <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's pretty neat. It's like, let's see how this... <laughs> okay, that is, that is going to be near impossible to play as, but still very nice to have as an option. Let's see. Will that help? No, that doesn't help at all. Yeah, even for me, that's getting difficult to look at. Chris? Nope. Um, maybe if we do the scan lines on? Or are they supposed to... F I really don't think they're supposed to flicker like that. I think they, it was come from the flick in the past, so might be an oversight to the room and let them be hung there. Oh, I guess that just means that we have to rush through this now. Yeah. Because that is going to get painful on the eyes. Yeah, I know it was common for some of us to have it like that. But at least they at least they went fast and yeah, Southern Dragon. <laughs> Though we were told to go after a dragon here. Of course it's a black one. Oh, wait, we can crouch? Oh, yeah, I did see that in the ops, but it's a bit odd to have crouch in... <sighs> to have crouch work with the jump button. Or as a... Hold on a second, it, the dwarfs... ...in the part where you need to use jump information for other buttons to make crunch and crunch. Okay, dead again. Uh, if we were in the arcade, it would have cost us 11 quarters by now. But it, it just slapped a smite right out of the air. Can I actually hit you when I'm on the ground? But yeah, in that... Uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, every color of dragon has its own little uh, biome that it prefers to live in. And well, black dragons, with their acid breath, prefer swamps. Yep. Red yeah, dragons prefer right. mountains, I think. Did you remember right? It was not the people they used to build in this age, but later they made like. Dragons of metallic colors like silver, copper, gold were used to good, but dragons of them in red, green, and black and just plain color were used to evil or hostile. Yeah, you had chromatic dragons and metallic dragons later on. And if I remember yeah. correctly, green dragons would actually prefer the forests. White dragons preferred snow, and we, okay, that was hard, bit hard to see with the the color of the <laughs> the dwarf's boot, but apparently we're tenth level now. Ooh, it's uh, increased, become mentally more powerful, no more. There is obviously a guiding hand behind all of this. Uh, someone is causing these monsters to fight together rather than against each other. Find this puppet master, cut the strings. Hmm. 
Major of Kuranglion. Linton told you you were coming. There are three areas where the monsters frequently appear. Great heroes, please save your time for these fiends. Okay. An old well at the end of town. I'm guessing we'll have to see all of these and that we're just picking the order. Welcome. I'm guessing. Uh, ex spending money on these <laughs> outposts is a bit of a waste since we're just going to die again anyways. Yeah, it probably makes sense depending on the difficulty when you if you have a, yeah, a limit of how many times you can resurrect. This doesn't look as much as a well as a sewer. Uh, okay, now we're getting now we're getting harassed by beetles. And so much for great heroes, huh? <laughs> I, I, I can't even see their names pop up. Uh, hello. Like, seriously, bugs. Fire beetles, okay. Uh, and invisible troglodytes, okay. Another one. Uh, come on, stupid beetle gone. Uh, another of you. Uh, how did you get stunned? Come on. Get gone, you. Thank you. Well done. But yeah, as was obvious at the start of this, you can play this game with up to four people. I don't actually know how much of a online feature this may have it once more yeah, let's come on get hmm. okay. don't know if you could actually play as multiple of the same character but probably not <laughs> But uh, yeah, this this would all be a lot easier with the four people running around. I'm pretty sure that the difficulty doesn't scale down. <laughs> Come on. Horizontal dodging, I need to remember that. Literally zigzagging. <laughs> okay, the, those those fart attacks are rather annoying because they can pull it out like instantly when you're close by. And yeah, it is them giving off some sort of gas, but <laughs> let's just call it a, a troglodyte fart. Ooh. I saw your shadows, you little bastards. I don't get that. You're walking on. Yeah, you still used to have a rather shallow water, so how are they diving? And yeah, they're not diving, they are camouflaging. Oh, alright. That's a big shadow. It, you, oh, you can actually see their, you can see their footsteps in the water as well. What well, more, you can see the water flowing around them, technically speaking. That's a nice little detail. Oh yeah, at least better than you swimming underwater. But I think see games where they, where you're just walking like that, and suddenly someone is swimming under the water somehow, and it usually annoys me. Okay, no hunters this time. No, and <laughs> that was a, an arrow straight in the eye. I don't see the 
Probably not by the sound. Yeah, these are gnolls again. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's what I was saying. Just, I don't know, talking about the, that's how you make them look almost female. Well, that must be me, pixelation on my end. Okay, <laughs> lured into an ambush. That reminds me, before Nose became, well, this, Nose didn't appear in some rare, in one rare, rare literature, sure. Okay. But those Nose were very different. Dwarf, so, less, <laughs> less prioritizing the gold, more attacking. I say as I move specifically to pick up one last piece of <laughs> silver. But yeah, as I was saying, originally, when original make of gnomes, no was supposed to be half gnome and half troll. Okay. Hence <laughs> the name, which makes then sense. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that's a oh? union I would not uh, want to see happen. Yeah. So I, I guess the Dungeons and Dragons decided to use the name, but to make the image. Yep. Get rid of you, little pointy bastards. <laughs> oh, just you see yourself out. You know, I think about it. If you combine Noel and Troll, it feels like you should just, just become a goblin, almost. You don't have to show off how jacked you are, dwarf. You can just open it like anyone. <laughs> Wait, what if you're able to throw it at things? Like a mob? See, the truth is your heart. Okay. Nope. And that chest was trapped. Yes, yes, Tinkerbell, we're going to explore first. It's actually, I don't think many other... I, oh, uh, hello again. And dead. <laughs> I think one of the reasons why these two games stood out back in the day is because, well, they gave you these multiple paths and such. And, well, we have side chambers to explore. Now, I'm not sure if many old, or if any old 2D brothers really had such a... Wouldn't it be called mechanical depth? Probably not. I think they may have been some, but uh, more sparsely uh, used. I, I guess the Dungeon Dragons were the one that really tuned it up the content, or at least started with it. And we don't... Oh, we do have oil. We have to burn this bastard and not ourselves. <laughs> yeah, try, to, try to burn him when he's about to die. That way he should stay dead. For a moment I thought he was already regenerating. Let's take that, you. Uh... Okay, we have literally one health left. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh... Did it just ground? It just Mario'd us. <laughs> We got Goomba stomped by a troll. Yeah, and I have to say, the troll here looks quite terrifying. I get the feeling it is regenerating. Or maybe not. I, I, not, not really. It's hard to tell when, when its health bar only shows up when you hit it. Uh, it's not really regenerated. You need to probably use it when you're about to throw the healing blow. It's smart enough to back off whenever we throw that. So basically, yeah, you need to make sure it's knocked down on the ground then. Then throw it. Yeah. Okay, we'll want it on the screen for that. <laughs> we knocked each other out there. Come on, get up. Again. We may be short, but we're not a Goomba. And it's being... Okay, it got real defensive all of a sudden. Okay, come on. 
Yeah, I think it's actively backing off whenever we throw that. that... We're a dwarf, not a Big Mac. Why are you... Jay... There we go. Ah, so I was correct. Yeah. The earlier this counter was just uh, the game making sure you knew that what you were supposed to do with against trolls, and offering a hand in case you didn't. Yeah. So that's a good thing to know that you can't fight them regularly. Just yeah, fire as they to finish it off. Just like in the game. So fight and troll with an asset of fire weapon was a very big thing to you. Boop? Did I just say boom? <laughs> well, I did use it correctly, uh, yeah. Didn't expect me to fix the whole faction. What is this ring going to do? Okay, <laughs> just completely blind them. CSW, what is this going to do? Oh, cure serious wounds. Okay. This is magic missile. Can this do us apart? And we're out of fancy stuff. Some food into the machine. Don't die. Oop. More traps and more traps. A key. Come on, get out of this. Attack. <laughs> hmm. Okay, what is this key for then? Hmm. We have a past here. And, okay, we can't scroll back. Which makes sense. So can we get up here? Yes, we can. Uh. <laughs> You've neutralized the trap right, right as four, <laughs> four arrows fly by our heads. Look out for that. Oh. Yeah, that's a swapping indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Sting on the ass. It feels like that kind of copy should be easy to just, you know, step on. Yeah. Wait, key? Do I just whack it with a shield? The, the dwarf has made a mistake of not wearing a plate boot, so. Why was the key symbol showing up? Is there a hidden door here somewhere? We almost got crushed by that. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing this was a distraction then. That hmm. we were to get something there and. Use it somewhere else. And the animations are all smooth. Do they do one thing that um have a, a bit of a pet peeve from that era? And that is no matter which direction you are, your shield is always always away from you. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess we should have had our shield above our heads. Yeah. I think there's only one game that, is, that was like this in Age of Empires, but it was not really 3D yet. And was, I think it was Sar, this big game was called, very old game. And that was probably the only mm. game where if you had one mic in one direction, you will see the shield. And in another direction, the shield will be on the other side of him. So it will not. They didn't have the mirror thing going on. Okay, a drow. And what we picked up earlier were gauntlets of Ogre Strength, which is basically you get stronger and does it harder. I think it's insulting to intelligence. 
Oh, the Shadow Maybe? Elf. Yeah, the, <laughs> this is a... I'm get. Okay, that's a very high-pitched voice. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess... I guess Shadow Elf is what they called the Drow before they were called the Drow. Yeah, and we had to pick the outfit. It, it looks... Well, it looks the kind of what you expect from that era. Yeah, very He-Man. Yeah. No, I did not expect a dark elf, or a shadow elf in this case, to actually wear it. <laughs> okay, this. this... What? <laughs> this I just can't. I can't. Cannot take it seriously with that uh, very flamboyant outfit and that voice. It sounds like a squeaky man, but it's kind of okay to talk of their own sound like a woman. Okay, come on. Yeah. Is it saying to battle there or something? I think so. Okay. Let's throw some. <laughs> did that? Did that hammer rebound off the, off of the skeleton, and into the elf? And it looks like he's just going to summon new ones whenever we kill them. Uh, yeah, one big tip for your big enemies, uh, big scary shadow elf. Uh, don't make him sound like a squeaky toy. <laughs> yeah. Especially not when dressed up like that. Or oh, you would expect it to sound rather something else. He's licking his blade, come on. <laughs> Deimos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we uh, we broke you just now. Yeah, well, after all, he did kill us like three times. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a very anime thing to do. For that's a guess you're seeing. Oh, I think you've seen it happen in anime when they talk you while licking their own sword. Right? Is, is, is this the yes Japanese tone? The only time I see it you don't is used by, well, like him, creep, really just overall creepy characters. <laughs> May as well stock up on our sap weapons. Mm -hmm. Black tower that rose from the North Mountain. It's, uh, better watch out, no one has returned. I, do I don't get why it just auto moves like that. Sit. At some point, it's it's just really slow, and others really fast. Mm -hmm. The broken lands, sort of mad. Four runnels. Okay. And we didn't get a use of that key. Or is it the universal-ish key? <laughs> Because it's still over our character on the in the corner. Oh, uh, hello. Yep, that's a man before. Though in myths, man before don't have wings, but it has become a stable of feet, so they'll have them between yeah. something. Won't you have to dunk and drive and have to talk with it? Okay, you're just going to keep dive bombing me. 
And dead again. Yeah, we've, we've used 21 <laughs> continues already. Yeah. 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 I remember talking about Mancos. Like, the, the more naked name in part of Mancos is supposed to mean uh, Mander? I love eating people. And also, I think there are people being theorizing that uh, the people may be taking uh, tigers in Mandalore. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if, if, you, if you're not ready for a tiger and in certain angles, you might mistake its face to actually be a face with all the stripes and all that if you don't get a, get a proper look. Yes. And there used to be tigers in Turkey. Okay. And I think the last one, one that died in captivity was in 1920 or something? I wouldn't know much about that. He's going to uh, die from again. I know only that uh, I was looking up uh, extinct animals in uh, Europe and lo and behold, Turkish tiger. And yeah. And it was not too long ago that they went into. Yeah, it gave me quite a surprise. You told that a Turkish friend I had uh, about it, and he was surprised. So and there we have... go. Man's core is man's gone. Tiger. No great lions, I mean, not great tigers. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> a dwarf running away from gold. Must mean there's something bad around. Where did all, where did you three assholes come up from? <laughs> Old Dwarven Tunnels. I guess we both know where we're going then. Oh. Oh, I remember this thing, Dad. Uh, face a dragon? A bigger dragon. Yeah, might as well. Wait, you remember it? Yeah, I've I've seen one someone plays through these. <laughs> it even it even asks you if you're absolutely sure if you want to face a red dragon. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen someone play through these games at once. <laughs> they really, they really want to dissuade you from this, huh? And for good reason, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a big one. Nope. And dead. <laughs> yeah, it was drawing us in there. And it doesn't even show us a health bar. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to lose quite a lot more coins to this. Well, virtual coins. Still. You have brought the Japanese game makers back down to really put extra effort into details in their games like that. And that's the first continued to lost to the dragon. <laughs> you beauty mortals had no chance of defeating me. It's a pity you learned such an important late you know, since you're late in life. Okay, is it better to just attack the claws then? Because if we keep jumping at the face, it's going to bite us. Literally. And figuratively. Just be glad he didn't swallow you. Again, you do have a horned helmet, which might discourage swallowing. Okay, he has a different... Different animations if you're attacking forward or back in the air. Are we supposed to just wail on it until it does something else? <laughs> like throw boulders at us? 
Yep, come on. <laughs> Sneaky little fun. And that's number three. But yeah, th these old arcade games didn't need to play fair because, well, the entire <laughs> of their existence was to get coins out of people. Yeah. Doesn't mean that there aren't fun arcade games and... Yeah, and they were not allowed to make it too impossible for the... Otherwise, what, what's the point if you can't beat the game? Oh, yeah. Are we actually doing anything or are we just... Did we lock ourselves out or something? Number four. Okay, come on. Are we actually doing anything or... Are, are its scales too tough or something for our weapons? I, if I recall correctly, dragons have like really high damage reduction or something. Yeah, it seems to be that. doing damage. Or it, it's supposed to be doing damage. Uh, wait, that's where I... Take a long and safe uh, route wait, or take now a we... short... Okay, it showed a health bar there. So I basically, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot going on. The health bar keeps getting given because it keeps you very too high up. Not a f So we all do move, damage move. from what I see. Okay, so we have to we have to hit its head, but we've been hitting its head for a while now and it didn't show the the health bar I think. How would you help? I think it's just. The game has probably showing you it. Okay, it's just too far away and he hide it again. And yeah, I've lost count now <laughs> where we were. Like, number seven? Yeah, more like 13. Yeah, a bit odd that only now its health bar is showing up. Maybe we have to do a certain amount of damage to break its scales or something. Hmm. But yeah, did <laughs> this guy as well, if he fits a dragon, is a real uh, coin eater. Come on, let's go. A team of locked oil and steel. Okay, chuck hammers at its face. The yeah, hammers are doing work. They land. Dad. <laughs> uh. See, How about daggers? Yeah, its claws are sort of shielding its face, I think. If, if, if we hit, you know, if, wait, if we hit them as well, it also hurts. Okay. And those boulders fall down completely random. And almost there. After this, I think we'll have to call it because we'll be at an hour. Yeah. Come on. This dragon must be thinking, well, how the hell is this guy not dead? Or why has he died so much and still come back? He has stopped war, that's why. And we kill it with a boop on the snoot. <laughs> okay. That's 
what are you right try to beat up dragon? It's just the, the clear times there. You were if you were to really sp speedy, you were <laughs> you were supposed to be able to beat that in two minutes. <laughs> I don't see that happening on your own. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Use item? Oh, we okay, you actually have to be at the front to use the key. Okay, come on. A lot of gold, of course. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. A man after midnight. <laughs> Wait, what? Abba song. Why? Bring a. F we could have. We could have used that earlier. <laughs> And we don't get the last chest, okay. <laughs> it's a Black Fountain of Evil, the Sable Tower. Can we mess with the... We can't mess with the decor. But... Uh... Yeah, let's call it there. Uh, uh... Hmm. This is the last area. So... Let's give it a shot at least. And hellhounds, and more gnolls. I move aside specifically to dodge one arrow and then I walk into two more. Let's give it 15 more minutes. Does that mean you will give 15 more minutes on the other game, or...? Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll give the other one an hour as well. Oh, yeah, that's not fair. Something is going on downstairs. Okay, it got caught in mid-air by one of the traps there. Come on. I think that is being recorded on the mic. The the argument going on downstairs. Come on. Wait, oh, ring of When did we pick up a ring of protection? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we've been picking that up somewhere. Or does it mean our ring of fire protection? Hello. Okay, obviously trapped. Oh, hello. Anklet, hammer, boots of speed, and cure Syrian's wounds, and a key again. Yeah, these boots are... The, those boots are probably one of the most useful things in this game to get because... Oh, there's the ogre again. It allows you to dart and move so much better. I say as a cobalt freaking dive bombs me. And dead. <laughs> so, are, do, do we lose our boots again? Yep. Wait, was that a, a down attack? I, well, it wasn't just me seeing the dwarf stab the ogre in the gut there, right? <laughs>
Yes, Pika. I usually eat a fruit along with my meal, like, just to keep it healthy. God, get gone, you. Plus, you get more vitamins that way. Okay, come on. Hmm. Yep, <laughs> and gone again. Yeah, it, it, that's a down attack. Okay. Don't think this gold will be any more. Well, this silver will be any more useful. Okay. Wait, what? Uli now I realize he's wearing purple. And purple pants? Yes, no. Well, I think it was good work well in purple, but not in that way. Yeah, not purple pants. <laughs> uh, it's it's part of the lighting, I think. I, I think it's actually red, because it, it turned to red when we headed back into this area here just now. Uh, Alright, that makes sense. No, I still he don't have a rust plate and chain, some chainmail. So he's definitely more armored than other early game dwarfs uh, in the history. Like, many games have like dwarf, they give dwarf bonnet helmet speed on that, they've got a tunic and trousers and boots. But they were known for making extra armor, they just, for the reason, never used it. Yeah, we're getting overwhelmed so, here again. Yep, they does not really have good disco storm armor actually. Come on. It, it's quite a good armor for adventuring. Oh. I I get too greedy with these attacks. And now we're dog food. <laughs> oh, ah. Like the same menu, the same button to continue also opens up the menu with that. The more. Okay, okay, can't enter there. Um. Uh, uh, come on! How many of them are you? I'm just going to keep throwing beasts at us while well, the nose ran off. Which, which is also interesting that uh, well, some enemies will actively retreat from battle. They probably value their lives more to, to face you. Yeah, but in typical fighting games, everything will fight you until it, it dies. It's pretty taken. I don't wonder, is it normal to end with a kid in Dungeon Dragon? Uh, if the Dungeon Master is playing it uh, smartly, because, yeah, uh, if a group... In most game, most of the times in uh, video games and such, things will just fight you until the death. But, uh, yeah, smart Dungeon Masters would have enemies flee if it's clear that things are not going into their favor anymore like if like half of their team uh, if half of a group of bandits has been slain the rest would obviously if there were any smarts and not completely desperate they run it like hell yeah especially if they all get you really wrecked yeah, give me that. Even though I said it, it is probably useless now. Yep. Come on. Okay, that's a long ass stun. And I don't we, yeah, we can just leave. They just poke you to find the hit. Okay, what have we here then? 
So I'd like you to join us. This time I'll waste no time in finishing it. It's the Shadow Elf. Hello, Squeaky. There's <laughs> definitely way, no way to take it seriously with that voice. Yeah, Mr. Wonder, did that, they do that as a joke? Or did I have no one else to do it? I have no idea. <laughs> but it was one this solid. This sounds like a dwarf, at least. Um. Like, seriously, what is it saying there? Something battle of metal? Wait, what? Yeah, that's. That was invisibility. And this took a lot less to beat him this time. But then again, he's a mid boss here. And that haste. Oh, haste. Alright. He's getting quite hard to even know what he's saying. Yeah. And if we'd been playing at an ar actual arcade with this, it would have cost us 10 bucks now. <laughs> Come on, stop dancing around. Come on, stand still. Actually... There we go. Yeah, the gold is just for points now. And let's just skip the side rooms. And head straight for the top. Those look like spear traps. And Oh, hello. Yeah, this is off. Yup. <laughs> So it was right, you curse believe your pitiful powers are enough to overcome me. I deem the supreme arch lich. As far as I may personally watch over your you know, watch your last agonizing moments of life, means will cross you when you fall to that the free lands will fall with you. It's sitting there like freaking Doctor Doom in blue. Uh, I think he's standing up actually. Oh, hello. What? Clay golems? Mud oh, mud golems. Close enough. Yeah, what does they mud golem? Not yet. Uh, yeah, we may as well continue on and try and beat him. We have infinite continues, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, but it, it really comes to comic if he finished his AG on his first stream under two hours. Under. Again, I would be under. Okay, apparently mud golems know sumo wrestling. They, they do look like it's uh, based on them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really planning to uh, make this a full-on stream or something, but maybe another time show off uh, Shadow over Mistara. Yeah, we can, we can do the other part of this game uh, next week. Like uh, the other half, basically. Yeah. yeah probably fun uh, on Saturday next week. Alright. Mm. Come on. Actually, let's just cook you, see if that harness you up a bit. I hope it doesn't. I hope the jackass doesn't throw too many of these mi mini. Yeah, 
bosses at us right before we fight him himself. Come on, you're gone. See? Come on, where are you? Is it stuck? I think it's stuck. I see it immediately it drops up jump yeah, pops up somewhere else. Uh, yeah, it might be interesting to play the other half of this game uh, with someone else. If it does do <clears throat> uh, online multiplayer. Okay. Are you coming down yourself now? Nope. He's just going to plant his ass back down there, eh? But, uh, well, against my weak imp nap, face the truth. Okay, now he is finding us. And uh, why are you raising a glass? <laughs> I'll drink a toast to my future victories. <laughs> I'm pretty sure glitches don't have digestive systems anymore. <laughs> or stomachs. Well, it might depend uh, on their condition. Like, they might have some uh, stomach left if they just uh, lose a little some money. Come on, stand still, you, or float still. Oh, come on, he has contact damage. Oh, come on. Okay, this is, this is the same as the displacer piece. Go for the one with the shadow. Um, the problem is getting our hand up this jackass and then getting some hits in. Without... Without him flying into our face. Come on, you discount doom. There is the Tower of Doom. Maybe it's called the Tower of Doom. Stupid I think, cool. I think that is a thing. Tower of Doom has been used in many franchises. Probably due to how it is. Easy, easy. Come on. We, we barely damaged him. And he's killed us like four times already. Oh, we have not barely done any damage to him. Yeah, it'd be... Uh, really difficult to get through this game without using any continues though there's probably an achievement for it and someone probably has pulled that off at some point very probably let's see if this helps with just jump attacking him all the time apparently not all the time but it, it is getting us in more damage now well, it's it's quicker to jump attack than to actually walk up to him. At least we do more damage while you're doing jump attack. Okay, it's basically meteors that try to follow us a bit. Okay, it seems we can interrupt his attacks as well with the spells. If they take a bit of startup. 
Because he, he was trying to use spells there before, and we interrupted him like two, two times. Come on, almost there. Yeah, I'm guessing the jump attack is basically the game breaker in this. Yeah, we think he's rather risky. Yeah. Fire. Come on. Just a few more hits. Can we kill him in this life? Yep. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm destined to conquer or to rule. There was a spelling a grammar error there. There was a two missing. And gone. Just the beginning, max complete Tower of Doom plus 400 gems. <laughs> Where did you guys come from now again? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of glory stealing jackasses. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to slap on. I'm going to have to slap on an epilepsy warning probably on this. Yeah, I think there was more like a full epilepsy warning with a thing. And I think we get to see them do too well. They probably didn't have time to make cutscene for each and one of them alone. Yeah. And there we go, that's Tower of Doom. <laughs> uh, of course, this the CEO is called the Dungeon Master. Hey, wait a minute. I think I should hit that one. Okay, can we skip that? Yeah, we can't skip that, but we can exit. So it did it counted as us completing that already, I think. So Yep. I might just be biting myself in the ass with that, but Oh, okay, it seems that it didn't count completely count us because it don't. We only have 150 of those crystals now. What? Okay. Oh well. Let's end that after like an hour and a half. Wait, did it? Wait, we we started. Oh wait, no. I'm thinking wrong. I'm thinking wrong. Okay, and then Let we're moving on to the second game. Let's see. This one starts windowed. Let's see. Uh, um, is there? Is there no full screen option? Oh, there it is. Yep. Toggle full screen. There. Uh, I should screen share that first to Dirk here because he can't see that. And how did I accidentally press the yen symbol there? Okay, then for OBS, and that should catch it in any second now. Come on, there we go. This is Endless Sky. I think it's part of the well, the Endless franchise, uh, of which we did uh, <clears throat> last week. We did Dungeon of the Endless, but I'm not entirely sure. But I think I get the feeling that this game is similar to. Uh, Okay, that's a lot of text already. Equally intimidating. Let's just uh, let's just go in there. Hillian H. <laughs> um, uh, interceptor, light freighter, shuttle. It. Eh? We have. Let's buy that. Uh, okay. Uh, with some trepidation, you keep the shipyard only your money and take your new ship for a test drive, piloting out of the shipyard and onto a spare landing pad by the spaceport. Then you get out, look over this a bit more closely. Easy polishing, up, polishing out a few rust spots with a piece of steel wool when an old man in grease stained overalls walks up. Uh, I think quite like buying your first starship, he says. Uh, let's just 
click through that fast. Okay, New Boston is completely unremarkable world. Except for, of course, the fact that you happen to be have been born here. Uh, I'm noticing that there's no music. That's you know, it's great. Only quite a game. Delivery to Pearl. Moonshake. Rush delivery. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what... Like, I compared this to Drox Operative earlier before the stream. And it seems that I was very much right. Extremely so, it looks like. Like, this is basically a, a more complex or a, a bigger... Uh, how do I move? Oh, with the arrow keys. At... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this looks like a, a bigger and more graphically impressive Drox operative. And what the heck are we supposed... I have absolutely no clue what there's... How and what the... What the... Okay, caps lock is some sort of fast forward... Up to speed. Okay. Uh, can I not? Yeah, this is going to. Uh, at least Drox Operative had those tool tips and such. Is yeah, the... this one is throwing you right into it. There's some s soft sounds from the. Is the music of this? A completely down uh, zoom factor land levels yes automatic aiming controls fire afterburner land on planet station with l initiate hyper jump tab is the fire primary weapon who the hell decide who the hell found all of these keys Tab, W, secondary, cloaking. I think it, if the primary fire was on shift, it would sort of make sense for... If you put a hand on the VS, yeah, W, all that, you think you would be on shift. So that would make sense to have as a fire, but the tab? Yeah, you have to... But you would need to move one of the fingers to for that. But that... I don't know. That sounds... It's not to sound like a good idea. Okay. When I think about it, why not just put primary fire on the mouse button? Yeah. That probably would be easier than if you shift. And apparently we can't even destroy these asteroids that are floating around, which don't even hit us in the first place. Okay, I get the feeling we might need to move on to a backup game that I had ready for this because I had a feeling if this really was going to be like Drox Operative that it would be a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah, though it's in a way. Here's the thing: the Drox Operative, we are overwhelmed with action all the time. Was something happening non-stop here? Well, there's something happening, but there's almost nothing at the same time. Let's see, job board, nothing we can take here. Not yet mapped a route to this system, what? Okay. Are we supposed to just wander around a bunch? Uh, how do we even select? I'm guessing we are selecting these systems by pointing towards them. And... Too hot. Yeah, let's just screw that. Yeah, I think that's one of those you play alone and not for a stream. For it's, I think it's supposed to be maybe relaxing or so. Maybe, but if it doesn't even tell us how <laughs> how you're supposed to be able to play. Okay. 
And yeah, this is the backup game. Enter the Gungeon by Devolver Digital. Uh, get some options. Video. Uh, not expresses in screen mode. Oh. Ah, there we go. It scrolls. Uh, borderless should be able to... Yeah. Share screen. There we go. Uh, V-Sync off because that's typically a pain in the ass. Uh, might strip pixels. What? Uh, why is it? You, eh? Restore defaults. Uh, okay, why would it not let me pick this one again? Back to borderless. And yeah, this is a 2D uh, <laughs> shoot 'em up. And it got quite some attention back in the day. And let's see, how much time do we still have? Where we are at an hour and 33 minutes now. Uh, minus the intro, that's well, an hour and a half. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, we can get to. We get to select a character here. The, each with their own starting weapons and abilities. The convict has a pistol, shotgun, and molotovs. The pilot has a pistol, a hairpin for pick locking, or lock picking, pick, pick locking, eh? <laughs> uh, a box and whatever that is, lock maybe. The marine pistol has, okay, that helmet gives us an extra, a free shot of damage. Uh, uh, something to call in. Uh, let's just take them and see. That he, he seems to like to an obvious reference to Doom. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the ammo monomicon. Let's see. We have always with you. semi automatic Infinite ammo. Does not reveal secret walls. The marine sidearm was brought to the guns by a low-ranking Primordine soldier. Though this gun appears no sturdy, it's been known to fail when it needed most. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and how do we select the other ones? I moved on to a controller with this because it's supposedly a lot better with that. Uh, can I bring the mouse back up in here? Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> guns in this game. But basically, it's yeah, a roguelite. Let's see, supply drop cause an ammo drop. And passive memories of your years in training, better reload speed. Okay. Bosses, enemies, items. But yeah, this is yeah, it's a roguelite. And that's uh, well, you go in, you fight, you die, you get back out with new things unlocked, maybe. Let's see, there's something boarded off there. Uh, yeah, let's give this a shot for uh, like an hour or so. And of course, the maps are randomized. Let's see. How do we... Okay, fire is the right trigger. We can move around with the left stick and aim around freely with the right. And if we... Okay, some... I think some guns have a... Sp oh have a sweet spot for... Yeah, immediately we lose the freaking helmet. Actually, might it... Can I maybe mix these two a bit? Okay, no. I'm, I was thinking maybe move with the controller and then aim with the mouse, but no, it, this is probably going to be a lot easier for me. <laughs> Let's... We have a, a dodge roll, and I probably should disconnect this thing before it starts shaking up itself off the table. <laughs> Come on, get back in there. There we go. Yeah, we like uh, composing the Kuma for... There might be moments where it's uh, almost jump scare me. Dooku, I forget that, that is there. 
And yeah, we've gone from one pixel game to a very high graphics game and back to pixel game. And yeah. yeah, you could manually reload as well with the R button in this case. It, it's always the R button in games. Uh, we cleared this place out, so we we can. Yeah, we have a map here. And we can use these to well, teleport around to help ease on backtracking. Okay, Whoa. big guy, big flail guy. <laughs> uh, yes, a lot of enemies are shell are bullets and shells. Why did that explode? Oh, <laughs> this sword guy, these, yeah, these grenades and the dynamite are suicide bombers, basically. They will run at you and well, try to explode on you. <laughs> so you do not want to be there. When the game throws a unit as like a platter, it is meant to go run up an explosion, run away, and let it blow up. I don't understand why many of them just turn clappers into suicide bombers. And yes, kind of showed it with these here, but you can kick over some stuff for cover. That's and even push it around. I don't think I know many games that allow you to do that. And that is actually, I think, a real-life tactic. So, I don't know how effective a table is to block, uh, block a bullet. So again, I guess it depends what the table is made of. The teapots? Monocular monster? What? Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, every weapon except for your starting one has limited ammo. Oh, he oh, hello. That is interesting. When you re when you reload, it causes an aura of an AOE aura. Of, yeah. An aura of damage around you. Okay, that's interesting. And the reason I'm firing at the walls is because other web, uh, uh, every gun that is not your starter can uh, <clears throat> can reveal uh, hidden passageways in the walls. Okay. Parts of all things. Your okay, <laughs> I was think I was thinking that this was a complete joke at first, but no. Okay, a bit of health. <laughs> see, is there? There's, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be hidden passageways on every level. But not every room. Okay, you have run through a barrel. Oh, careless and hit. Okay, you have now become the Mad Hatter. <laughs> except without a hat. Yeah, we lost our hat on the first, very first enemy. <laughs> Bad pet learn. Oh. Machine gun, bulletkin. That is actually quite a big area that it damages in. And that is. This is. To, oh, that's a. That's a shop, but why is it closed? Good question. Hmm. Uh, would you call this kettle a grenade launcher or a shotgun? 
Oh, this shotgun personally. Oop. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. Play as the area of where we died in, how much time, how much money we got, how many kills, and well, what we got killed by. As well as all of the stuff that we got, though we can't actually inspect it further. Okay, quick restart. Which should throw us right back at the start. Yep. Okay, keep of the lead, Lord. And yes, everything in this game will, or pretty much everything in this game will be gun puns. Yep. It, it, what was blowing up there? My helmet, he. And again, the, lost the helmet. Okay, those switches are just going to bring down the chandeliers. Okay, get her up and deal with yourself. <laughs> okay, we have the we have keys and casings over here. Casings are our currency in this game. Yeah, these bullet kin are easy to deal with on their own, but of course, more and more difficult enemies are going to show up in bigger amounts as well. But what usually gets me in this game is that I get overwhelmed by how many enemies there are. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of makes sense, but there is a limit to how many you can handle at once. Okay, wizard gone. Anymore? Nope. Oh, that's the boss room. So let's take a quick look and. Yep. We don't want to head there just yet, especially with only the starter weapon. What are you? Okay, some. Okay, we got our helmet back. Uh, guessing there was some sort of a treasure gnome or something. Oh, you almost spawned in right on top of me. And we lose the helmet right away again, because I'm bad at dodging in this game. Okay. What have we here? Little bomber, refuse to lose. Okay. Three ammo clip and 60 bullets. 60 round more. Okay, it's basically just a, a cannon. Yeah, we can switch between weapons, of course. Okay, this... This could be fun. I, I typically am... Oh. Okay, I get the feeling if we hold this too long, that it'll blow up in our face. Did that just bounce off the wall? I think you did. Oh. Okay, who threw that at me? And did they kill themselves? Okay, <laughs> easier for me. Oh, big guy. Can we move these? Okay, I see. Maybe one of them got one of those by mistake, or that kind of fall. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was what I was aiming for, basically, to get it to kill itself. And we can teleport all the way back here. Hello. Goodbye. And this is blocked. Okay. Let's see if we can find a way around then. 
Oh, the shop. Let's see. Which pistol? Okay, uh, how do I... Oh, with E. Spells your doom. <laughs> okay. Uh, that did use most of our casings, though. And what is this? Yeah, use the map to work. I think more, uh, a friend played this, Marsh, uh, Marsh Fire, and I don't know what happened if you piss him off. And you probably don't want to piss him off. It, oh, I'm guessing this is another of these games where you... Uh, okay, we accidentally use our special, it seems. Wait, wait. Did that, did that bullet kid get turned into a chicken? Okay. So. <laughs> and another he chest. He stole a weed show, so yeah. And this one's locked, so we can't open it. Oh well. Uh, let's shoot it with a cannon. Let's go see the boss. And we. Technically, we could go looking around for hidden doors. Okay, that's my headset. Now we find that it's low on power. So give me a second. There we go. And yeah, we got a bit of a preview earlier when looking through the Ammonomicon. The Gatling Gull. Nope. Uh, let's work with the bomber first. Okay, easy enough. Yeah. yeah, usually with these games, I you have to keep your eye on both yourself and the enemies. And it's with that attention splitting that I typically get lost and start getting hit. Like yeah. there, I was trying... I was looking at the gull, so I missed that bullet. And yes, it it is coughing up missiles. And dead. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten past the second area of this game. Wait, what? Yep. Then you probably right. should ask for pointers on my marsh. Okay. It became almost realistically. Uh, yeah, she has been playing this for quite a while longer than me, but... Uh, it's the attention playing that seems to get me every single time. I think it's probably the fault of the Ellen. Uh, yeah, with these types of games, it's it's usually a mixture of skill and luck that will get you through a level. Uh, let's get rid of you already. Uh, I can I can keep an eye on masses of bullets, but I will not be able to see. Like a single bullet that's coming for me and accidentally walk into it or something. Or I should probably also use cover more. But of course that will get destroyed if, if it gets hit enough. What the heck is this? Ring of fire resistance. Burn, but is that basically ring of fire immune to them? Let's see, is there a button? Oh, there we go. I. 
Let's see. Prevents damage from fire. A ring originally worn. A ring originally worn by the legendary gunsmith himself. Later in life, Edwin no longer needed it, but the ring proved indispensable during his early years in the forge. It eventually passed to his eldest daughter. Okay. So nice to have, but otherwise uh, a bit useless at the moment because we need weapons more than rings. Of course. Save for later. I probably should have not picked it up. <laughs> okay, next passage is over here. Oh, hello. Okay, so shooting the switches will also set them off. That's nice to know. And that was the only one here? Okay. Uh, uh, what the heck are you? Uh, angry, that is <laughs> obvious. And also gone. And helmet back. Gatling Ghost. And come on, these grenades again. Okay, shop to the north and two rooms to the sides. And the boss, okay. And yeah, as obvious, you leave behind quite a bit of carnage in these rooms. You're still here. And yes, enemies can kick over cover as well. And I, I don't think there's actually any real use to uh, breaking things. But I don't think you can get stuff from it. But it is, of course, a ni nice to just make a mess. I think you can, but just not pretty sure. Siren? Oh, wait. It's a shotgun with a fish tail. What the heck are you? Okay, uh, for your health, I won't say no to that. And um, hello. Uh, yeah, let's not whatever the hell you are. And uh, let's see, are there any? Yes. Oh, one more to the south. Hmm. Okay, more wizard than normal bulletkin. And yeah, the wizard is just throwing half the alphabet at us. Or, well, <laughs> half the alphabet of shapes. And... I'm kind of surprised I managed to dodge that. And, oh yeah, the blanks. I've forgotten about those. Basically, those those clear the screen of enemy pro of enemy projectiles. Okay, you grab a key. Go back here, and what is in here? Nailed. Nail gun, okay, and again, probably should have saved that for later, or I may put those in my pocket or something. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Maybe I have them in the main base or something? Uh, doubtful, because I actually don't know what 
sort of... I don't really know if there's much progression outside of every run. And that is a big-ass clip. It's going off the screen. <laughs> Oh, these two. The Trigger Twins. Okay, I get the feeling this gun is better for finding hidden... Uh, finding hidden areas <laughs> than combat. Imagine you could be good against uh, with your mouth, but maybe both would not be fit for me. Do you know what I'm doing? Two damage. Yeah. Shouldn't get too close. Uh, if I remember correctly, these two... Yeah, with those down throws, you get a moment of invincibility, but only a moment. <laughs> so the moment you hit the ground again, you can get hit again. Uh. Okay, let's see if we can at least beat one of the bosses in this. Uh, yeah, I I don't think this game has difficulty settings. <laughs> you again? Yeah, I I I simply can't keep my eyes on both the enemies and myself. So either I have to shoot basically blindly, or. Uh, yeah, move around and get likely get hit by something. Or maybe I'm keep, I'm keeping my eyes on the character at the moment. Guess well, survival is probably more important. Free key. I don't think I have to handle this game too well. You know, the sword guy. Oop. Yeah, if I'm going to keep my eyes on the marine, it's also going to mean that I'm probably going to miss some attack cues and such. Okay, I sort of kicked that over right on time to block that little bastard. Is, it super Is that supposed to be a rubber bullet? Okay, with single enemies like this, I can focus mostly on them because yeah, their attacks are big and sweeping, but also very slow. <laughs> Hello, Samson's submachine gun. Yeah, this thing yeah. needs no introduction. Yes, they, 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 need to, they need to do a very typical uh, gangster uh, work. Also, something that probably doesn't help me in games like this is that I. I generally do, really do not want to use up limited ammo and such. Even when I should. My, I must admit, we've got to be careful with ammo, depending on the game, of course. Some games, I know they um, will be very generous with ammo, but others, I will try to be careful with. Am I mi I'm completely missing something here because I 
Did I just accidentally break the game and soft lock myself out of progressing? Yep, there we go. Table tech rocket, right? Table tech rocket has joined the shootout. Okay. But yeah, you're also supposed to be able to dodge over cover like that. But yeah, that damages it apparently. Let's see, anything? Yes, we missed something there. Something heck. We can use that and decoy. Okay, so we can only act hold one active item. Distract it's enemies. Um... Most <laughs> most inhabitants of the Gungeon are not the most intelligent of creatures and will fire upon anything that they do not recognize. This crude from his pessimist fest. Semile, yeah, of a gungeoneer that it's it's not even <laughs> made to look like anyone. It's just a blog. Uh, we'll hold our attention for a while. Many gun that seem content to lock trespassers up in cells, despite their trigger happy nature. Somewhere deep in the gungeon, there is probably a prison full of decoys. <laughs> okay, let's leave that there for a moment. I do wonder, do these things recharge? Smiley's Revolver, 65. Just walk through everything. How do I... How do I use this thing? That, that was a blank. Options, Con no, not video controls. Um, let's see. Use item, but okay, these are contr for controllers. Um, and where do I see the keyboard con up, up there? Dodge roll, interact, reload. Use item space. Okay. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that, that looks a bit more like someone. And. Disable tech money. What? Isn't this the exact thing we just unlocked? This ancient technique produces money whenever a table is flipped and flips all unflippable rooms tables in a room. <laughs> Chapter five of the table table of sutra: A poor man sells, sells table, a rich man buys tables, a wise man flips tables, and cares not for mundane possessions of the physical world. In this way, it becomes truly wealthy. But... What? Yeah, this game has a. Uh... A lot of absurdity. Okay, some jackass stole our Our item got stolen. What? Uh, I get the feeling we'd probably be able to track them down somewhere, but I, I, I hardly know this game. And he is the third of these first bosses. The Bullet King. And yes, that is... <laughs> that is a Game of Thrones reference with the... Well, oh, the Led Throne. Now, now I see it. I didn't notice until you pointed out. I didn't, I didn't look more at him than at the throne.
I think something is supposed to happen if you accidentally kill the advisor or something. But I care not to check. That almost got me. Nope. Uh, how did I not... Come uh, on. Oh. One other problem is that I do have with this is that I typically try to dodge away from bullets instead of when I should be dodging towards. Yeah, Has your money credit accepted worldwide and huh? MOV supply and what the heck? That that looked like a bionic leg, more machine than man. Future gangster rat. Don't forget the key on the ground. <laughs> Oh, movement Ooh. speed increased. I guess we got our, I guess we got her our helmet back because we beaten the boss. And I. Don't I forget the key. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we get a single casing from him. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what's with the big angry? I get the feeling I'm going to regret doing. Take a break. Oh, oh, save and quit option. All right. Well, that's kind of good. And I should put this thing on the charger as well. There we go. Uh, who the heck are you? Fix these elevators to kill some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, that's a new thing unlocked. Right. I'm presuming. Wizard, no bullet king. Kin, not king. There we go. Yeah. All those bats. What the heck? Oh, but that you're new. Some sort of <laughs> bullet bill. Lost the helmet again. Why? Why is this a Thompson shop? Did it get upgraded? Because it, it fired bullets earlier. Mias, <laughs> see, come on. A favorite of organized no, criminals on hollow points. <laughs> An effectively added tummy gun, the trench room, the Chicago typewriter, and the. Titolia's Thursday, huh? Titolia's Thursday. I don't get it either. Okay, so some guns and passive items when you have to both upgrade each other? Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know that at all. And again, I got my ass kicked by this game most of the time, so I don't know a lot about it and apparently I don't know to how to avoid pit traps like that you almost did that again didn't you yep okay you're a mini boss obviously or not Um, 
You know, the best way to dart, try and dodge things is probably to just try and go sideways or towards them. Hello and goodbye. That was easy. Okay, am that's an ammo drop, I think. Yep, guns partially refilled. Okay, so if, if those are going to be reasonably frequent, then it would be better to just use a guns a lot as well. Uh, I do not want to know what the heck you are. A spider of some variant? Yeah, and it, that web is slowing down. It's, well, webs it's always do in games. At Heart of Ice. Fires, ice reductors on taking damage. Okay. Hmm. That sounds kinda handy. Yeah, though we want to we want to be hit as le the as the yeah. as we just plain don't want to get hit in general. Yeah, though so it means at least you have a surprise if they do hit you. Let's see, blunderbuss. Oh, oh, those. Okay, that <laughs> that was a lot more than I was expecting. So yeah, that was the ice crystals. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, they stop holding back right away. of you Iron Maiden things. Okay, they fire out, they stick into the wall, and then they home in on me. And it's only vulnerable when it's open. Okay. I think I'll have to try and use my other weapons a lot more just to be able to deal with these things before they manage to hit me. Oh, there's something else here. Yep. Yeah, another one are, of you. The moment we should not keep up on your ammo too much. Uh, okay. Nope. Okay, that was done quick. <laughs> yeah, for the normal bullet kin, I can just use uh, the normal pistol. Uh, okay. There's some sort of shark bullets. Okay, the, the, the traps are not deactivating. Let's see. Any passages somewhere here? This doesn't seem like it. That crestfaller, cold reality. Oh. Semi-automatic, unique weapon was brought to the dungeon by a disgraced warrior who discarded it when he gave up. Projectors of fires are extremely low energy, delivering a cold and highly depressing death. <laughs> See, open that up. And... Okay, nothing. That's not you common. Let's see. How, what does this thing do? Is it a shotgun of sorts? That's them automatic. Ooh. Oh, it it slows them. 
Okay. Might be useful when having to slow down some specific targets. Another empty room. And the boss. Let's see then. Let's grab you. Blunderbuss shoots anything. Uh, da, da, da. Used mostly by farmers who seek to defend their farms from hungry giants. The blunderbuss fires anything you put into it, hold the charge, and launch projectiles in an inaccurate short spray. That is effective against sly dragons. Eh? That sounds very accurate for. That was the earliest version of a shotgun. Yeah. And uh, let's yeah, see how it I does. Sometimes they can load it with the random stuff. Be holster. Oh, and kind of fitting. It looks like, uh, yeah, your uh, nemesis almost in this case. Oop. Oh, oh, I thought that was a wall. But no, it's not pillar. Oh, it's a pit. And dead. You think do a lot of damage to it, though. You quickly got it down to half health. Yeah, I think that was mostly because the machine gun was upgraded. <clears throat> yep, and it did I probably activate the ice uh, heart thing a few, few times as well. Yeah. Uh, let's Sadly, see. you didn't have enough health to survive it. Ten minutes to go. I doubt we can get much further than that. What is that supposed to be? Good question. It actually looks like a person. But it's, it's been either decayed or defaced. Might be defaced. Um, again, the helmet lost in the first room. I, I, I just, I just completely lacked the mental faculties to be able to keep track of myself and my enemies at the same time. Now, we, which is why I don't really like these twin sticks you know, shooter-like games in general. I, else, I always end up overwhelmed and confused and, well, getting my ass kicked. Yeah, I can understand you. I think myself will just uh, get left up uh, by playing it. And yeah, when, you, when you're constantly getting beaten uh, like this early in, yeah, you it stops being fun. Yeah. Like, Hades, Hades is going to kick your ass over and over and over again. But at the very least, it has a lot of good story and characters to keep you going further and further and further. This game, just to me, it just doesn't. Yeah, and uh, at least in Hades, you learn something every time that, oh, I'm supposed to do that with them and all that stuff here. You do get a chance to learn what you're supposed to do, but there's still much happening at once. Okay, let's see that dealt with. But yeah, when we die on this round, then that's when I'm going to call it then. And what is this? Snipe? Shield use again to launch. What? Uh, let's see what it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not what I expected. But yeah, yeah that's all. That's also something with you know, these roguelites with completely odd you know, weapons. You have to actually know. You actually have to learn what they do. And for that, you have to, you know, trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. On and on and on yeah. until you practically memorize what all of them do. Yeah, in any case, you have 
weapons are there again? Uh, six. Six weapons, and you can practice and learn with them each run. Here, you don't know what you will get. Yeah. This is uh, quite a gamble. So it makes it hard to learn the weapon. Yeah, I, I, I just... I just really don't really like games that rely on a... Heavily on luck as well. Yeah, that, that's just annoying. Because in, I remember in this when I played this game before, like years back, there were it was often enough that I had to face the boss without a single we special weapon. And let's go get a key. Like I could probably use those blanks a lot more to protect myself. And hello, trip gun. Reload to transform. Okay, it goes from... It goes... Hmm. Okay, so it switches between a bouncing bullet and a shotgun. Okay, nice. That could be useful. There's the boss. Let's see how this thing does against whatever boss we get to face. So is there anything else left? Uh, I, I do applaud this game for its map system and just that you can teleport back and forth. And I don't thought that there are so many different guns, but at the same time it can be overwhelming. Yeah. And it's a trigger twins again. And I'm, I'm pretty sure similar to the uh, the Dreadnought Twins in oh, in Deep Rock Galactic, once you've killed one of these, that the other goes Super Saiyan. Space was it, and then again. I think they can use the that's nice too. So can you use the block bullet? Come on, which one of these is I meant that I'm shooting at anyway? Okay, that's the... yeah. Yeah, and that gun was, gets pissed off. And dead. I, I wouldn't really say that it, it... I wouldn't really say that it's just that this game is too hard. It's just I suck at it, plain and simple. <laughs> yeah, it's not a game for everyone. <clears throat> and yeah, I th I'm not even sure if you... I think I've unlocked her as a new character. I, I think you start with these three, and that you are s supposedly able to find extra ones deeper into the gungeon. Um, what is... Okay, this is just showing uh, the, I the items that they start with. Fight items on room clear, keeps the hunter company. He has a good nose for treasure, but all attempts to train him in combat have failed. Okay, so she starts with uh, more tricky weapons, but a better chance at loot. Okay, this confusion. It refers them to characters as a he, but it looks like a she. Uh, that's not a bow, that's its ears. I didn't say anything about bows. <laughs> Let's see, the config has... Let's see, a photo that the convict brought with her to the guns and deal extra damage for a short time after getting hit. On the journey to the bridge, the pilot once asked her why she always stared at this photo. Later, she was uh, released from the brig. 
Don't believe his lies. Her enraging photo. Okay. So someone she really, really hates. <laughs> and yeah, Molotov cocktail. A shotgun and a revolver. And the pilot here. A semi automatic rogue special. It doesn't matter. Fire half cocked and often get itself into more trouble than it can handle. I think that's more speaking of the pilot <laughs> than the weapon. Chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. These lockpicks have never let the pilot down except for the many times they did. <laughs> <laughs> Disarming personality. Reduce prices at shops. Okay. And hidden compartment. Increase active ammo item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Okay. So yeah, each of these have their pros and cons. This guy, the marine has that he has, well, his, uh, his reload, his, his, <clears throat> his ammo drop so that he can, uh, well, get m more use out of his guns. I probably should have, I probably should have used that quite a bit. <laughs> And that he starts with, yeah, already set the health. And that he reloads faster. And, yeah, we can even get ourselves killed here. What is uh, it with these yeah. credits? Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's have a little chat here. You again, good. Looks like some elevators connect to this room, so I set up, I set up in there. Okay. Okay, so this is basically offering you shortcuts to uh, well, different levels in there. Okay. I, I certainly... I think this game has been updating since the last time I played it in who knows when. And... Halls of Knowledge. Wayward Soul approached me at... Oh, it's you. Forgot how to dodge roll. No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, is this basically a tutorial? Bastard Blockner, make him remember. Huh? No good. Then take the stairs back up to the brick. Okay, so this, that's basically a tutorial. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, I need a bit of a break myself now. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see for anyone who has been watching. Come on, stupid thing, activate. Did your battery die even... Oh, oh, I see. I forgot to plug these things in again. Yeah, I got my hands on a new USB splitter, but it gives up light and noise when it's plugged in. It's... It's one of those travel ones that you, uh, <clears throat> where you get a bunch of connectors for different countries to it. But yeah, because it gives up light and noise, I pull it off. Yeah, uh, in the, <laughs> I I pull it out whenever I go to bed, and of course I forget to put it back in. So we'll have to rely on OBS's count here. So let's see. According to OBS, so if uh, I if you are watching this live and I'm not. I don't mention your name. It's either because you, I. It's either because OBS doesn't show you, or that uh, I think you may be a bot because of not reacting. So let's see, Junket thing. Thank you for watching, and Abby Bissoni. Thank you for watching as well. Uh, I hope to see you next time when we we team up with Beanie, which is likely to be actually tomorrow and the day after that for Wildlands. And of course, as always, special thanks to you, Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome. And uh, yeah, this has been <laughs> Something Sunday showing off uh, Chronicles of Mysteria and and the Gungeon instead of Endless Sky. <laughs> like, seriously, I, I'm pretty sure I never started that game up. So why the heck did it not start with the freaking tutorial? Like, again, Drox Operative gave you those many, many hints to figure things out. But even even just the other basics should be explained at the start of a game. Yeah, and it felt very 
right off the bat boring. Yeah. Well, yeah, may it might just be that we completely missed out what we we're supposed to uh, do with that. And uh, possibly. You know, no music either. Actually, let me take a quick look on Steam how the reviews for that game are. Let's see. Endless Sky Store page. Very, very positive out of 5,000 reviews. Let's see. Endless Space is a 2D space trading and combat game inspired by classic Escape Velocity series. Is it uh, work your way up? Okay, so it, yeah, it is supposed. To, most of those games start slow, but you not again no in. Oh, it's a free game. That explains a lot of that as well, because people are a lot easier on well something they don't have to pay for than something they have to pay full price for. Yeah, and then also depending on what price it is, like. If they wanted you to pay like sixty dollars for that game, that may have been very overpriced then. Uh, yeah. Again, anyone who has been watching, thank you for watching, and until next time. But until then, until then, be safe, folks.